Hey guys, Will here with Into Mobile. We're at IFA 2010 Berlin, and we're taking a look at the the Android TV from People of Lava, the very first Android TV. What we're looking at here is a TV that's actually running Android 1.6 Cupcake, and it's on the widget screen right here. Um, we're gonna look at what what Android TV looks like right now, and I'm gonna hand it off to Johan. He's gonna tell us a little bit about the TV. Hi everybody, uh, Johan Harris, People of Lava. What you see here, as Will just described, is a uh, widget screen, the start screen on People of Lava's Scandinavia, which we say is the first Android TV. Uh, this screen might look familiar to many of you who've seen internet TVs from other companies before, uh, but as you know, it's on a widget. It only supports one-way communication. It feeds you with information from a certain source. So that is why we introduced our own home screen, the People uh -huh. of Lava screen. And this is customized from Android? This is customized from Android 1.5. Uh, it supports, among other things, a fully free browser based on uh, Chrome, not Chrome, but WebKit and uh, the Android, Android WebKit. It, it has uh, YouTube, of course, it has to have a YouTube. We also have a mail browser or a mail client uh, supporting Pop3 and IMAP. Uh, you can use any account you want on that. A Facebook app, of course, everybody has to have a Facebook app. And we also have introduced our own app store and our own app market that we're releasing right now. As we're, we're, as we're releasing this TV worldwide right now on IFA, uh, the application market today only supports about 25 to 30 apps, but we plan to expand it way more in the coming weeks. Uh -huh. We start by having a look at the browser. Uh, and how are we controlling this over here? You, oh, sorry. You control it by using this little nifty device here. Uh -huh. It's a uh, fully uh, keyboard. You have the Swedish o -E -E on it right now as well. Yes. Since it's, uh, this is made for the Swedish, uh, uh -huh. the Swedish market. The Swedish market, and also. The I see market. you have all the shortcuts there. All the familiar symbols, all the Android shortcuts, the back button, the favorite button, and all of that. You also see a world and a TV on it. So if you just look at the web browser. Uh, we, we claim that we are the first one who is able to produce a fully free web browser which lets you go anywhere, basically. So, you just so this is the Android web browser. It looks Everything looks the same. That menu yeah, bar absolutely. down there, the, the URL bar, it's all the same. Very absolutely. familiar. So you're free to go to whatever whatever page you want. You have your, your familiar Android bookmarks page. If you want to go to the New, New York Times, you just go to the New York Times bookmark and, and uh, press OK and we're Soon there. All right, let's see. As when you want to use uh, a TV like this, you, you most like to use it a few meters away from the screen. So uh, we also introduced uh, the zoom, as you can see on the remote control. It's the traditional pin zoom, but translated to a TV environment. So you can just zoom in. So it zooms in at the cursor. Absolutely, it does. And you see that uh, it takes this still crystal sharp, uh, so it's very very easy to read it from a distance. If you want to go into a certain topic, you just mark it and you press OK. If you want to, you can also use the, uh, you also have an auto button, which makes you get a mouse cursor up. Uh -huh. so you can get that, uh, there you see the mouse cursor. So that is being controlled by the little Yeah, the, the, the auto You can click that around. Not very convenient, but if you want to, if it's something that's hard, hard to reach, you can use that. Then, of course, uh, it supports browsing in multiple windows at the same time. Ah, uh, yes, so that's very cool. If you want to switch uh, window, you just go to uh, a lot of New York Times, but you can go to the Formula One web page, no problem. Anyway, so this is something that we're very proud of, this browser. We think we've done a really good job in developing this one. But let's go back to see what we have more. Uh, YouTube functionality, of course. Uh, the thing that is different with this is that this TV has an integrated graphics processor which scales up the content to very, very good resolution that we think. The scaler and the, the uh, deinterlacer does a very good job uh, in uh, making the content really, really good. So that is that's bringing it directly from YouTube. Directly from YouTube. And, and this is your custom uh, custom skin YouTube player, using the using the Android as a, as a player. This, this is a full screen Android player. That we use. It's, uh, you, you can basically watch any content on this as, from YouTube and it's case it up to whatever. Content.
Yeah, it's like, yeah, with kind of glasses too. And, and that looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, I would say, also to be YouTube covers. It does not look that good on my computer. Um, all right, let's go back and have a look on what the main line. It's, uh, you see, Will have already tested yes, this Yes, and I've there. actually sent an email to the to the mail client there. Yeah, and it supports POP3 and uh, it also supports IMAP. Uh, this version does not support a change, but it will in the next version. Um, so this is the standard, very familiar, uh, totally free mail client that we have in, uh -huh. in this. And I thought I saw Facebook there. You yeah. did, you did. And anybody has an Android phone might recognize this. And Facebook. that looks just like we, yeah, exactly, just like on the smartphone. Yeah, you can just bring up your speed as you're used to and, uh, and you're controlling your bat all again from everything from this from the remote. remote. Absolutely. Uh, and you just use the back button as you would on a normal Android device to uh -huh. navigate through, uh, through, uh, through Facebook. So if you use if you can use an Android smart smartphone you can easily use this. As for the apps then we have uh, the current uh, apps that we have you can see them installed in the app folder. Uh, We've already seen uh, YouTube, uh, we've already seen Facebook, there's some games and uh, there's also a Twitter client. And you have a chat client we're for, with Seismic there, that's that's cool. We have, a, we have Seismic, we also have Google Maps, which we think is really cool to run on this on this big of a screen. What you see right here is, uh, is Berlin, and uh, if, if you move around a bit you see that it's very, very fast but updating. Uh, see, we, here's the EPA fair, let's just zoom in on that one to see. That's where we're at right now. That's where, that's where we are right now. Uh, we can actually say that we're around in Paris right now. Uh -huh. And as you see, it's very, very fast, and it's case very, very good using the uh, the integrated processor in the hardware. Um, the application market uh, is today consists of about 25, 30 apps developed by us for this specific release. We've seen a few of the apps installed, we also have a few others. Uh, so this is your own application market, this is not Android market? It, this is not Android market. Um, since the apps have to be designed to be to, to be run on such a big device, it has to be somewhat tweaked. Uh, and since we use Android 5, you need, Android 1.5, you, you need to use, use a few tricks to, to get them to run smoothly on this, uh, on this large resolution. Uh, we have a lot of companies, with a lot of companies that really, really interested developing uh, uh, apps for con content distribution, a lot of movies, music, games, and so on. Uh -huh. We will uh, release this one, but with uh, joysticks on it, so you can play games, Android games, with your, uh, with your remote. Very handy. Uh, we will also release a full screen keyboard uh, in about in about a month, if you want to use that type uh, We can just have a brief look at the settings menu. It's, uh, and that's it, just like we're used to on the smartphone. Absolutely. So this really is Android running on the TV? You could, you could actually say that this is an Android device, just, just put on the wall. Exactly, there you go. And it's upgradable over the air, uh, so whenever we release a new version, you just press upgrade and you get the latest version, you get a notification, it's time to upgrade, and you do it over the air. Uh, Great. We have a Mac address on it, so you can see where every single device is in, in the world right now, uh, which is very handy. Uh, great. Well, uh, it's looking good. I think uh, you know Android on the TV. You guys are you guys did a great job. We think so as well. We think we really did a good job in in, uh, in choosing Android, and we're really proud of this. We're absolutely applauding what Google and Sony is doing. We believe that this will leverage our market potential, and uh, the apps that they develop will, of course, be able to run on the, on our platform as well. So we we applaud them, and we hope that uh, Android for TV will be the next big thing. Great. Thank you very much.